Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kat and today we are at Disney's Art of Animation Resort in a Lion King family suite. I am so excited for this. I actually booked a little mermaid room and I was really excited for that. But this morning when I checked in, they said, head on over to the Lion King room 6623. And so here we are in a family suite and I'm so glad that we were able to get this room because I can show you around, give you an idea of what to expect. Before we get into it though, just as a reminder, this is a value resort here at Walt Disney World. It is not the most affordable of the values, but the prices are very fair. And it's important to note that, like I said, this is a family suite. So this is not the most affordable room here at this resort, but it's the room we've got, so let's check it out. The first thing you'll notice when you step into this room is just how big it is. It is very spacious, but there is definitely plenty of space to kind of still separate and have your privacy, which I think is really great. But first, let's focus our energy right here on this table and chairs. So the nice thing about these family suites is that they do have some living space. So here you can see that we do have the table with chairs. It's pretty spacious, plenty of space to have dinner so you can mobile order, bring it back to your room and enjoy that here. You'll notice too that behind this amazing theming, we have a Murphy bed. I'm not gonna pull it down right this second, but we will, we'll take a closer look at it. Before we do though, let's just look at the rest of the room. So here we have a nightstand. There is a drawer so you can tuck some stuff away. There are outlets here so you can charge your phone and whatnot. Same thing on this side as well. I will say that there isn't a ton of space between the bed and the wall, but it is enough. We've seen worse, so I'm not too bothered by that. And generally speaking, the kids are gonna be sleeping out here, so plenty of space for them. So if we turn this way, we will see what I'm gonna call the master bedroom. So we have this really, really cute headboard with this bed, some beautifully themed lights here. And again, these standard nightstands, same thing. Little drawer here, tuck some things away. This light does have charging available on it. Obviously you see the phone there. Great theming in this room. I love it. And then here on the other side of the bed, we have another nightstand. Definitely plenty of space on either side of the bed to get in and out. We're always looking at that. So no complaints there. Here we have a window with beautiful, beautiful curtains. Let's take a look outside. I don't think we really have much of a view here. Nope, oh, just the grassy area outside. This is actually the walking path that takes you to the Skyliner. And then of course you can see the rest of the building. So while it's not the best view, it's definitely not like a parking lot view, which I think is great. Here we've got our fairly large television as well as this dresser. So definitely it's hard to tell, but there are two drawers up top and then there are two large drawers down below. If we pull back over here behind the door, you can see that we have what essentially serves as like our closet space. So down here we can put our luggage, up here we have our safe, we have an ironing board, an iron, as well as an extra pillow and blankets and a place to hang some of our stuff. Now again, this is a value resort, so you don't have like the actual closet space. It's kind of out in the open, but honestly, I don't think that that's that big of a deal. This room definitely makes up for it with theming and space. So this is one of those things that is like that give and take of being value. We'll talk more about that some other time, but just want to note that real quick. Now, before we move on, I do want to take a second and look under the bed. As you can see, there is plenty of space under there for luggage or whatever else you want to tuck away. This is one of those minor changes that's been rolling out as rooms get upgraded around Walt Disney World. 
I am a huge fan. I think this is wonderful because you don't want to have your luggage all like out and about. You can shove it under the bed. It's not really out of sight, like you won't leave it behind, but at least you're not like tripping over it, you know? So really great feature of this room actually makes it feel more spacious than it is. Although this room is incredibly spacious. In rooms where they have beds like this, it feels more spacious, even when they're small. Next up we have the bathroom so this one is off that master bedroom you'll see here we have theming continuing all the way through these rooms it is just i don't know how you can't smile when you're looking at this much theming this is like the epitome of what it means to have that disney magic at least in my opinion the shower is stunning i love this so much just so beautiful it is a walk-in, not huge, but not small. Have our shower head, nice and wide, but it's not a rainfall shower or anything like that. And we do have our wall-mounted H2O Plus products. Disney did just discontinue H2O Plus. Well, I say just, but it was quite some time ago. That said, you still see it around, so you can still enjoy it if you did while you have it. Here is our toilet. Clearly it was just cleaned. And we have towels. Now when you step back out into this common area, not far from the door, you'll notice there is a second bathroom. So here, hi, <laughs> here we have that second bathroom. We've got the mirror, a vanity. This is great because if you are staying in this room with a family, mom and dad, the adults can have a bathroom to themselves and then the kids can have a bathroom to themselves as well. Here it is right here. Look at the shower curtain. Is that not just the cutest thing? Then of course, behind the shower curtain, we have that beautiful tile work. Again, tub over here which is nice it is not a very deep tub which is perfect if you have kids that will be taking a bath and of course we have our wall mounted h2o plus products in here as well over here we have the towels and the toilet and then of course there is a door here so that you can have your privacy and there's a full length mirror on the door and it looks as though we have a pocket door over here as well. Now I think that this is great for a number of reasons, especially because this actual bathroom is so small. Now I don't know about you, but when I have a bathroom that's this tight, we'll go ahead and shut ourselves in right now. Um, when I have a bathroom that's this tight, especially when you're taking a nice hot shower at the end of the day, you wanna relax your muscles. There's not enough room here to like dry off, change up, which is what makes it really nice to have this like open area right here with the vanity, you know? But you still want your privacy from the other kids. Maybe you're sharing this with another family. You want some privacy. You have the ability to do that with this sliding door. And it makes this bathroom seem much bigger. So even if you don't want to close the door when you're taking a shower or whatnot, you don't have to because you have this sliding door. It makes it seem like there is much more space in here. And honestly, there is, which is fantastic. When we come out of the bathroom, if we turn this direction, you'll see the living space for this room. Now this is a really exciting space for a few different reasons. First and foremost, it serves as a third sleeping area. So we had our master right there that sleeps to, this pull out that sleeps to, and then over here, this couch pulls out and sleeps to as well. And it's really kind of cool because they did take the time to give you some theming over here. So it feels like the other beds, there is like a headboard with these giraffes. Now I think that this is cool for a number of reasons. I love that it adds to the room in and of itself, but if you are traveling with multiple kids, no one has to sacrifice. Everyone has the opportunity for a cool room to sleep in and a cool bed to sleep on, even if you're sleeping on the pullout. But that's just my opinion. But let's take a look at some of the other great details in this room. So right here, you'll see we have two Ottomans. They are 
themed really well, but they also are designed to be slid around. So yeah, you could sit on them, but you can slide them back here and they will serve as nightstands for the bed, which I think is great. We've got this funky chair over here, which I think is pretty awesome. And over here we have what looks to be like an entire command center. So this room has this device, which we haven't played with yet, but oh, we will. Don't you worry, we'll have a whole video about that one. So hit subscribe if you haven't already. We've got this really cool end table with a beautiful lamp, of course, another window with pretty much the same view. Nice big television and another dresser over here. Again, same as was in the master bedroom. So two drawers up top, two drawers down below, lots of space to put all of your stuff. There's also this closet, quote unquote closet, I suppose, type area. Same as in the master bedroom. So extra pillows and blankets up there, place to hang your clothes, and then another place over here to tuck some items away. But the most exciting thing about this room is actually right behind you. Yes, I know it might not seem super exciting, but this is a little kitchenette. Now this is pretty cool for a number of reasons. Having a fridge is great. Having a microwave is great. A small area to prepare coffee and food is fantastic. But here's what's super exciting to this for me as a Disney Vacation Club member who stays in Disney Vacation Club resorts all the time. This right here, this kitchenette, is a feature that you'll find in Disney Vacation Club villas, more specifically the deluxe studios. Now we've looked at those rooms before, I will link some down in the description box below, but those rooms, they feature a kitchenette and that's what makes them like a home away from home. This is a value resort with a kitchenette that is bigger than some of the kitchenettes I've seen in Disney Vacation Club Deluxe Studios. That's an impressive feature. Now look, this is something I wanna sit down and talk more about with you in the future, but for now, let's take a closer look at this little kitchen area and what it includes. So first and probably most importantly, we have this refrigerator right here, which is good size. It does not have a little freezer element, which is a bit disappointing, but not all fridges here at Walt Disney World have a freezer element. At least there are ice machines. So here is a space under the sink. Not much to write home about, but it does have some room for extra paper towels and whatnot. We also have this small sink here, which is great. And then there is this coffee maker. Looks like we have some special coffee that goes in this coffee maker as well. We have some tea and cups, which is great. Peeking out from under there, we have our paper towels. Then we have a microwave. This is rather small, but plenty of space to warm up that item that you didn't finish earlier in the day. And over here we have some paper plates and bowls. They're all pre-wrapped and the same can be said for the plastic cutlery underneath. We have some water cups right here and we have an ice bucket. So plenty of space as well to store any snacks that you might bring with you. We talk about that all the time. So you can go ahead and put them up here. You can put them over here. Okay. I know I'm repeating myself a little bit, but this right here is such a great feature of this room. And again, it's one of those things that's super desirable of some Disney vacation club rooms. So having access to this in a value, it really makes you think, you know, but like I said, we'll get more into it. So subscribe so you don't miss it. Now I realize I forgot to mention plugs in here. So we have one behind the coffee maker. There is one here by the recycle bin. And then there are also plugs over here. Let's go check in that master bedroom though. Oh yeah, there are plugs here as well. So that's really great. While we're over here, let's take another look at this safe. So I feel like I missed that. What is this? You can use a credit card to lock this. Ooh, we might try that. I've never seen that before. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is this bed. Now, these Murphy beds, we've used them before. We've pulled them down before. They're really easy to pull down. It doesn't take a lot of effort or a lot of work. I'm just gonna do it with you right now. Um, you can't really see it very clearly, but there is a handle right here. 
and you just um, you just pull. And there you go. Now as you can see, this is super adorable with its own artwork. There are some lights up there and there are controls right over there to operate those lights. So pretty cool. I will say the only downside to this bed is that when you open it, you have the chairs that you have to now do something with. I don't know if they stack. No, I tried to see if these chairs stack and they don't. Okay, future cat here interrupting your regularly scheduled video to let you know that these chairs do stack. It took a little bit of playing with to figure it out, but this is what they look like stacked. So now, you know, you can definitely tuck this away really easily. They're lightweight, so it's easy to move them even as they're stacked. So there you have it. But that about does it. This is room 6632 over at Disney's Art of Animation Resort in the Lion King building. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you ever stayed here? Would you consider staying here? What do you think of the room layout? Tell me all about it in a comment down below. Also, stay tuned to find out what we think of this room and this resort. This is just a quick overview. We're just taking a look around, but I will chat with you again about what my experience was like and if I recommend staying at this resort. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.